Hi, I'm Lisa, the Goodwill Gal. Welcome to another Goodwill Haul. So I'm going to call this my repurpose Goodwill Haul because I'm going to show you some items that I found at Goodwill and how I've found new ways to use them throughout my home. I want you to know that when I'm shopping the aisles of Goodwill, I'm not just looking for fancy items that I could find on the cheap. I'm looking for items that are inexpensive, but also items that I can repurpose and reuse many times throughout my house. Um, it's important for me to get my cost per use out of an item. And that is if I'm paying retail for a piece of clothing or buying something for Goodwill, I want to get the cost per use out of an item. And you know, anybody can go to a retail store and buy something for, let's say, $50, and then bringing it home and using it 50 times, that's how I feel that I have to use it, just to get the cost per use out of it. And it doesn't always happen that way, and I've spent all this money on an item I'm not really using. And so that's the beauty of shopping thrift and Goodwill, is that I'm paying $3 or $5 for a $50 item that maybe it doesn't always work out, and if it doesn't, I could put it back in the bin and send it back to Goodwill. And there's always something else that um, I could think of something creative uh, to use it again. So keeping in that spirit of repurposing and reusing items, I have this silver champagne chiller. And you know, if I drank champagne or you know, I could put that in there. But one of the things that I love to use this for is putting wooden spoons, putting it by my stove. Even during Christmas, I've gotten greens from the Christmas tree and just filled it up with water and put those greens and maybe decorated it with a couple little candy canes or something. This is a great repurposing item. And right now I have another one almost identical to it and I have a plant in there. And it just turns something basic into something a little fancier and just steps it up a notch. And I only spent $10 on this one. I've bought them for $3. It just depends on which Goodwill I go to, but um, this has gotten me a lot of uh, usage and repurposing. And then I also have this little container. I guess it's like a creamer. And one of the reasons I got this is because I love to use little bottles or little jars like this for makeup. And I also put Q-tips in here and just put it by my makeup and they're great little storage containers, but they add a bit of beauty to the space. And so since I already had one, I just planted this little um, succulent in there. And when it started out, it was only like this. So it's grown quite a bit and it just brings a rustic element and kind of shabby chic to the space. Look what you can do for 69 cents and the cost of a succulent. Now, one of the things that I love to repurpose are colanders. I don't care if they're, they have hard water stains on them or markings or even rust stains. It doesn't really bother me because what I do is I put a little bridal netting in here and then I put potting soil in them and right now I have basil growing in another one and it's sprouting all over. And all I do is just water it and the water drains out the bottom and I put them outside and they're really rustic and I just, I like these a lot. And this one was like a dollar ninety nine maybe. But um, I'm always looking for colanders. They make great strawberry containers as well. Alright, and the last item I have, and you're going to laugh at this, but I had no idea what this was when I bought it. And I put it on Facebook and Instagram, I'm like, what is this, you know? And um, turns out it's a, a hat holder, but I didn't, I had no idea what it was and I got some great uh, comments about how to repurpose this and people had said put you know some vine in here and wrap it around or put a light in here and just feed the cord down here and it makes a great lamp. Right now I'm using it as a hat rack. I just loved the uniqueness of it even though I didn't know what it was. I really thought it was like for the garden but if I get tired of it like that I can always switch it out and this was like $2.99 but I love the element about it. So I hope you've enjoyed 
looking at my items. There's just a small little mix, but I've enjoyed telling you how I repurpose them and my shopping tactics. But if you have something that you've repurposed that you're proud of, I'd love for you to get in contact with me and leave me a picture and um, come up with new ways of reusing things are really important to me and I'd, I'd love to see what you've bought. So thank you for watching and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and we'll see you next time.